Hi everyone, I wanted to make a quick video just to show that how I put the filter together for my DIY grey water recycling and sprinkler system. Um, you can probably a lot of different ways of doing this, but uh, yeah, it is quite important to be able to filter the water um, as it comes from your drain pipes um, and before it goes into your holding tamp tank in which your submersible pump sits. Um, this particular pump is a sump pump or sewage pump, so it is actually rated to be able to handle uh, small uh, solids, uh, small and soft solids. Um, and so the reason for the filtering is not so much out of concern for the pump, but it's more out of concern for your garden to which you are pumping to. Um, but at least I know that also if my filter for some reason fails, uh, then the pump won't get damaged because it is rated to be able to handle um, small uh, solid pieces, uh, like I've said. So uh, the way I've set up my filter system is so that it hangs within the holding tank um, because I have a lid that goes on top of the tank because I want everything to be quite neat when when it's closed um, and contained in one space. Um, I guess. In, you could put your filter system above or next to or outside the tank if you wanted to but this is quite a nice simple little system uh, that uh, seems to work quite well so far so I've kept the um, filter at the top level of the tank you don't want it any lower than the, the top level of the tank uh, because when the tank fills up with water and your filter sits below the, the level of the water that those filtered particles will float out again and into the holding tank Okay, so let me um, just take these out um, and show you uh, how I've put this together. Um, you can see there's a little hook there um, onto which I've attached the, the plastic part of the filter. This is just a, a, a pool filter that I bought from a local hardware store. I'm sure you can get them anyway. Um, and then it's got a little string attached to it already and then I just screwed that um, little hook onto the container so that I could hook it on and off quite easily because you do want to clean this every now and again. You can see this is um, there's nothing in there at the moment. I've just recently put this uh, stocking on so the filter is still relatively clean. And then all I've done is I've just bought a stocking from a, you know, any shop that you can find. Um, and this is actually a knee-high stocking, so I didn't even have to cut it. It's about uh, probably 20, 20, 30 centimeters long. And I've just stretched the opening. Um, I've just put it inside and stretched it over here. So it's just sitting there. There's nothing holding else holding it in. Um, and then I've placed this, uh, this round uh, open sort of slatted contact, uh, uh, plastic thing in there so that it uh, keeps the stocking open. I guess if you take this out, then um, the stocking obviously shrinks inside and sh shouldn't be a problem. If you can, I guess you could put the pipes like that if you wanted to, except that um, eventually it might block up just where that opening is sitting if, the, if, it, if it's sitting flush against the stocking. So that's why I've got this in there and I've placed that in there to keep the stocking open. So I think, you know, one will just have to keep an eye on it and see how quickly it uh, gets uh, clogged up and clean it once in a while. I guess you could rinse out the stocking um, or you could just throw it away and, and buy a new one. Um, but this literally just sits in there so it's very easy to take off. You see I've just twisted this uh, string a few times to get it at the right height.